Peace, everybody. It's your man, DJ D Skills, and I'm coming to you live and direct from the desert, Sin City. That's right. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada. As you can see, we're in front of the world famous Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. It's usually a long line out here, but the trick is to get out here at 6 a.m. when you can have the sign all to yourself. So I've been living here for about a year, and I've learned a lot of little, little tips and tricks like that that I'll hip you to especially where to dig. So let's do it. It's the season four premiere in the Sin City episode of The Big Dig. Welcome to Las Vegas the largest city in Nevada and the city that builds itself as the entertainment capital of the world. Now when most people think of Las Vegas, they think of the Vegas Strip, and rightly so. It's by several accounts the largest concentration of hotel rooms on earth, boasting a number of the world's largest hotels and a stretch of road less than five miles long. What many people don't know, however, is that most of the Strip is not located inside the city of Vegas proper. In fact, the Stratosphere is the only major resort casino on the Strip that's actually inside Vegas' city limits. The rest of the Strip lies in unincorporated Clark County, mostly in the areas known as Winchester and Paradise. The city of Las Vegas is also, of course, the seat of Clark County, so you'll find a number of local and state government buildings downtown, as well as a significant federal government presence. But what Vegas is known for is its nightlife, which features some of the top nightclubs on the planet. All that clubbing means lots of DJs. I had the pleasure of meeting several DJs in town thanks to my homegirl, DJ Kelly J, who teaches a free DJ seminar at UNLV. At the end of the class, she was nice enough to sit down with me and tell me her story. So here it is from the queen herself, DJ Kelly J. All right, this is DJ D Skills. I'm here on the campus of UNLV with my professor, the teacher of the DJ class that we just wrapped up. It's funny, huh? <laughs> DJ Kelly J, what up? Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. Thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Um, so for those who don't know, um, I know everybody here in Las Vegas knows you and probably knows your story. Um, but, you know, I'm from D.C., so a lot of my viewers are from back east. So... For the benefit of those who do not know, um, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Where are you uh, from originally? Did you tell me you were from the D? I am, I am. I was born in Detroit, Michigan. Sure was. Nice. So how long have you been here in Vegas? It's almost 20 years, and I d it did not hit me until just now. It's almost been 20 years. Wow. So, so, I, so did you come out here before you started going to college? Yes. Yeah, so okay. So I thought you, you came out here to go to UNLV. Mm -hmm. I went to high school out here. So my mom had us come out here for a family vacation and we never left. Wow. Um, do I understand correctly, you are the mix show coordinator for uh, KUNB, the, the radio station here at the university? Yes, yes I am. Uh, mainly uh, my job here though is the DJ instructor for the workshop. So um, we're still building everything up for the mix shows for the Rebel HD2, but this is the second semester for the DJ workshop at UNLV. So I been putting a lot more time and effort into getting that right and making that the best formula um, possible for people that take it. Nice. Well, um, having just completed the workshop myself, I will say <laughs> thank you. Um, you do a very good job with it. It was um, a great experience and it was great uh, meeting you and all the um, the other folks in the class. I really, uh, I really enjoyed it. So kudos to you for doing it. It's really important work that you're doing. Um, and um, I encourage you to, to continue on. And I'm here, happy to help out any way I can. So, Thank um, you. so on the DJ tip, um, how long have you been DJing? When did you first get your start? Uh, I've been DJing for 13 years. Um, I actually started as an intern for a radio station here in Las Vegas. Um, it's called 88.1. They used to have summer internships for high school students. And I signed up for it at like a little uh, career fair that was at my school. And I took the internship, and I've been DJing ever since. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What kind of DJ would you consider yourself to be, or what style do you like to play, or is there a particular 
genre that you um, feel like you specialize in? I know you, you do it all, but is there anything you would say is your favorite or how would you characterize yourself? There's multiple ways you can answer what kind of DJ you are. So the two, I have two answers for that. Um, one, I'm open format, so genre-wise, I play anything. Like I, I study people and I study how music makes people feel, so I made sure I could play any genre. And then with being an open format DJ, I did nightclubs, I did radio, I did mixtapes, I did uh, lounges, I did weddings, literally everything. So I'm an open format, open venue type of DJ. Like I can, I can spin anywhere for the most part. Nice. Um, so last question, is there any advice you would give to any up and coming DJs out there who might be watching? Um, a lot of our guest DJs touched on this and I just want to back this up to really stay present like I myself did not realize what I was doing and now it's like I'm moving so fast that people are telling me stories and I'm like dang that happened like I don't remember because I'm moving too much and I wasn't present like it's really important to stay present I think we get so caught into the politics or how we look or all the extra things that we're not really being present. We're not really embracing the fact that we get to do what we love and it's helping other people. It's, it's serving people still. So yeah, just be present. All right, well, thanks again for taking the time. I really appreciate it and we'll see you in these streets. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank Peace. you for having me. Word. Now in keeping with tradition, I never dig on an empty stomach and as you might imagine, Vegas has many restaurants to choose from. Of course, there's a lot of restaurants on the Strip, and in fact, one of my favorite pizza places is located inside New York, New York Hotel and Casino. Syracuse is a little pricey as most restaurants on the Strip are, but they have some of the best slices in town. There are also many great restaurants off the Strip, and just a few blocks east is world-famous Lowry's Prime Rib. Now, I gotta tell you, if you don't have a shaker of this Lowry's seasoned salt in your kitchen, I'm probably not gonna eat at your house. Just letting you know. Of course, this is where all that salty goodness originated. Steeped in tradition, Lowry's has been a staple in Las Vegas cuisine for many years. It has all the classic steakhouse ambiance, and thankfully it wasn't too crowded when I stopped in for lunch. Now y'all know I'm a creature of habit, so I'm foregoing the ribs and having my usual filet mignon with a salad and a side of fries, of course, seasoned with Lowry's seasoned salt. Talk about some good eating. All right, I need to walk that off, so I'm heading back over to the Strip to check out one of Vegas' biggest attractions, the world-famous fountain show at the Bellagio, which is a must-see if you're staying on the Strip. And the best thing about the fountain show at the Bellagio is that it's absolutely free. So as you might expect, with all the clubs and DJs in town, Vegas has a number of good digging spots. We're going to check out a couple of them today, starting on the east side of town at Record City. The oldest record store in town, Record City has the look and feel of a quintessential digging spot. It's packed with records with good representation in all genres, 12 inches, albums and singles, as well as 45s, lots of CDs, and movies and shows on DVD. So here to tell you a little bit more about the store is my man Joey. So tell us a little bit about the store, man. How long has the store been here? Uh, record City started back in 1988. It's the longest surviving record store in Las Vegas. Um, this was where it all started, and we at one time had about 10 or 15 stores here in Vegas, or down to, to two. We have this one at 4555 East Charleston, and we have one at 300 East Sahara. Um, each has a different inventory, and we also have one in uh, San Diego, California as well. 
I see you all have a great selection of vinyl, 12 inch and uh, 7 inch as well as CDs. Is there anything that you'd say you all specialize in? No, we, we have kind of an eclectic mix. I think we, we have, uh, we try to keep every genre well stocked. We try our best and since we rely mostly on uh, collections that we purchase, uh, you might come in one week and see that the R&B and Soul section has recently had a good boost because we bought some collections or it might be the metal, new wave, punk, uh, vinyl has gotten a boost. So every week it kind of uh, changes and you never know what we're going to have. Nice. So I think you mentioned that most of the stuff comes from buying collections. Um, so you have a lot of used stuff, but um, mm -hmm. you said you all uh, do order new vinyl from distributors? Yeah, we do. We have uh, a lot of the new current releases, new artists, and also just reissues of the, the classics. So we have a new section of, of uh, new vinyl. So uh, yeah, if that's what you're looking for, we have a lot of that as well. Nice. Well, last thing, uh, tell everybody where they can find you online. You, I assume you all have social media and everything. Uh, they can find us on Facebook and Instagram, Record City, I think it's Record City LV, I believe, or LV Record City, one of those. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks again for, for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Pleasure to meet you. All right, next up, we're heading over to the west side of town to check out Zia Record Exchange. This popular franchise has several locations around the city, as well as locations in Phoenix and Tucson, Arizona. They have a pretty big selection here, although their soul and R&B crates aren't quite as deep as Record City's, but every once in a while you get lucky and stumble across a gem like this Jimmy Bohorn album that I've been looking for for months. Just might have to run that in the club this weekend. Oh yeah, the club. I, I guess I should tell that story before we wrap up. So, the last time many of you heard from me, I was living in Berlin, Germany, where I had moved to pursue my DJ career full time, but... The pandemic kept me from being able to work, so after a year in Deutschland, I came back home to DC, packed up my car, and headed out on a cross-country journey, eventually making my way to Vegas, where thankfully the folks at a club downtown called Oddfellows hired me to be one of their Friday night resident DJs. Now downtown Vegas is a different animal from the strip, and you get much more of a mix of tourists and locals. Just a block over from Fremont Street at 6th and Ogden, Oddfellows certainly lives up to its name. They call themselves the nightclub for people that don't like nightclubs. There's no dress code, no bottle service, no VIP sections, just a bunch of people who love to party and have a good time. Their signature event is the 80s and 90s party they call Footloose, which they do every Friday here in the main room with the big screens for the videos. And you can find me around the corner in the back lounge where we do a 70s and 80s funk and disco party every Friday and it's actually been going quite well. Let's see what they know about this Jimmy Bohorn though. I'll see y'all next episode. Peace. <laughs>